Oh, hang I'll, on. I'll be back in a minute. Just... All right. So, yes. So, I went to some, you know, guitar store action. I had some guitar store action over the weekend. It was cool. It was a long time since I'd actually kind of been in a, in a music store, per se. And, um... And, uh, I went and I bought some drum heads and stuff, right? <coughs> Excuse me. And I want to shout out to this cat, JD, who's the, um, manager at Sam Ash. So I went and bought some drum heads. And there, there was a young woman, I guess if that's safe to say, uh, <laughs> she was, she was the, you know, whatever, sales associate, but she was more like a drumline person, like a, like a marching band, orchestral drummer. And I was like, that's pretty cool. Cause so often in those stories, you get a disgruntled, never was that fucking never got their jollies enough playing music. Yeah, like the Ben Stillers. Yeah. Ha uh-huh. In Pick a Destiny. <laughs> yeah. uh, awesome. Douchebag. Uh, what a great poll. Yeah, just some, like, overzealous homo. But, yeah, usually you have to contend with their attitude and their fa- and their failures that they just seem to drag around with them. I'm like, I didn't fucking tell you to come work at this fucking store, dude. Shit, relax. I'm here to help you make some fucking money. But, um... Yeah, so I walk in, and this JD guy, he looks at me, you know, he's got, they've all got their masks on or whatever, and I I walk in without one. Is that where? Did they make you wear one? No. Oh, that was when we went to Guitar Center, never mind. In, in, in Sam Ash, I, I didn't wear one. I just fucking said, fuck it. Yeah, Guitar Center, their corporate wants everybody to wear a mask. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I asked the guy, I was like, is your company based out of California? And he goes, yeah. And I was like, fucking figures. It figures? Because you act like homos? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I walked in and I bought a, you know, and I'm like, the girl is like, well, you know, do you know what you want? And blah, blah, blah. And I said, yes, because I had a notebook with me with a list of everything that I wanted. So I didn't just wander around like an idiot and be like, what's this? And oh, maybe. No, I knew what I wanted. So I went in and I'm like, yes. And I said, here's the thing. If you bear with me and you're patient, this is going to be a very profitable, if this, if this is uh, commission based for you. I said, this is going to be a profitable few minutes that you spend with me. So, you know, chill and let's get it down so I start listing off the stuff yes we have this yeah no this the so I get a bunch of heads and shit and I get back to the back to the house and later on that night I start putting the heads on well while I was in the store I wanted an eight inch head because I have this I have this like this little tom from a child's drum set just a little eight incher and uh I wanted an 8-inch head for it, you know. Fuck it, I'll make this thing, I'll incorporate it somehow. So, they had an 8-inch head. Well, on the box, it was identified as a vintage Emperor Clear Remo head. That's that type and style. But I'm like, I opened up the box, I'm like, I want to see it. And I opened it up, and it's actually a Remo Weather King Renaissance head. And then and the difference is a clear is obviously like a clear head, but the Renaissance it looks more like almost like like kind of calf skin, or almost like a like a you know what I'm like a bongo head that has a slight pebbled texture to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah like, the fake. like skin like yes, yeah, like yeah, hide like yes. And and I and I noted that when I was there with her, I'm like, this is not this head. This head and the box are two different fucking things. I said, but I like this head, so I'm willing to buy that head. That's fine. 
I should have checked them all. Didn't get home. I'm putting them on. <laughs> My 14 inch Tom. Cause that's, cause I, cause the, my kit is like a Bonzo. It's like a bottom kit. It's got the 22 inch base, although I think he used a 24, but it's got the 22 inch base, floor tom, and just one tom up top, but it's, but it's not the high tom, it's the low tom put in the high position. So you can get that kind of across the doodly 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 doodly. Okay. That's the setup I have. So the fucking, I'm, I go to take out the bottom, the resonant head for the, for the tom, the bottom head. And that fucking thing is, it has a, a snare where you could, it has the ghost image of a snare across it. And the, the head is like shredded. It has these like slashes through it. It's just, it, it looks, I don't even know how you fuck it up like that. But it was on the bottom of a snare. Then somebody kind of switched it out and just kind of whoosh, threw it up on the shelf. So I get home. And I'm fucking. I'm going to put it out. In the box that you bought? Yes. All the it's other the all the other heads were fine. But this one was a used head that somebody slipped back on the shelf and shit in the box. And I took it out. I'm like, what the fuck? Well. I get on the fucking phone the next day. I'm like, and JD happens to answer it. I'm like, hey man, what's going on? I go, I go. My name's Matt Ludke. I was in the other day and bought a bunch of heads and stuff. I'm like, do you remember? He's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I remember you. Yeah, what's up? Because he, we were talking about shit for a little while, you know. Because I'm like, the drumline girl was fine, but I'm like, I, I can talk to this dude because he's a drummer, you know, totally. You know, and so we could have a shorthand and, and get business done quickly, more quickly. And he's like, yeah, hey, I'm a Tama guy. And, you know, and I'm like, all right, the, the snares I'm redoing are Tama's. It's cool. But yeah. So I'm like, I've never tried Evan's heads before. It's been Remo for 40 years, man. So I want to try something new and I'm doing these other things, blah, blah, blah. So he's like, oh, yeah, totally. Evan's is great. And he's recommending them. So I get it home, I open it up, I'm like, fuck, this is all fucked up. I call him, he's like, yeah, totally, I remember you. I'm like, hey, that drum head, that fort, that fort, uh, I said 16 inch resonant, but it was really the 14. But he's like, oh, I'm so sorry about that, you know? So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll send you out. He's like, tomorrow, or t- today I'll, I'll contact my warehouse guys and I'll have another one shipped out to you right away. I'm like, fuck yeah, man. That's some good service. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. No, no, re, no questions asked. Reach or replacement over the phone. But obviously, I also wasn't a fucking eighteen year old kid walking in going, oh, and then calling later, and I dropped some good coin on those fucking heads. <laughs> but. I was like, that's cool, man. I said, I still have yet to acquire more symbols and things as I go. I said, I'll, I'll come back to you with my business. That earns my business, man. I, I'm down with that. As long as that fucking thing actually comes in within a couple of days here. <laughs> Seeing as how that was two items. Well, and I was telling him, I'm like, I just want you to know that that's two items on your fucking um, shelf rack, your, your head rack that were either mismatched or fucking destroyed. Yeah, that's a kind of a pretty high percentage. Plus as the as the manager you're probably gonna be kind of embarrassed to have somebody calling you, like calling you and going, Hey man, your inventory's all fucked up. You wanna get your head out of your ass? The other the other place was was uh was G C. I went to a G C. And it was, and it was, it was all right. It wasn't, it wasn't too bad. The the drum guy was pretty cool. <laughs> I had to kind of educate him on some of what I was talking about, but I'm kind of used to that at this point. <laughs> so that's okay. But I ended up having to return something there and shit, and they were really cool about it, I think. Yeah, they were cool. So I, I believe I've gotten all my heads. So... The head that he's sending me is going to be a 16-inch, right? 
but that happens to be the size of my small bass drum that I got. I have a bass drum from a child's kit too, a different kit. But this, this drum is from a company called Schoenhut. This is German piano company that's based, I think, in New Jersey. And their United States part is based in, like, the East Coast. And um, it's a really nice little drum, but it's a 16-inch. It's, like, the size of a floor tom, but it's a bass. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a single little filam patch because I, I bought a, a Remo Power Stroke. I know I'm nerding out about drum shit here for a second, so bear with us, folks. I'm not going to take forever with this, but... I put a Remo, a 16-inch Remo Power Stroke uh, as the batter head of that little bass drum. And I'm going to put that Evans 16-inch G1 Clear <laughs> resonant head, one ply, as the resonant head, the outside head on the bass, on that bass drum. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hook up, I have, a, I have another single pedal that's like chintzy. I'll, I'll do better later on that, but I have a single pedal I'm going to put on that <clears throat> with a filam patch. You know, the little remote flam patch you stick to the head. Boom, boom, boom. Uh -huh. I'll put that on that. Now my 22 inch, I have Evans EMAD. What the the batter side is uh I forget what what it, which one it is, but it's the EMAD black, flat black, but it's got this muffle ring actually attached to the to the front of the of that head, the face of it. And there's two different sized uh, foam rings you can put in it, you know, like of different widths for different uh, levels of muffle. So I've got that as the batter head with a double with a double flam patch because I have a double pedal on that. I'm going to have a double pedal. I have one, but you know, whatever. <laughs> and the outside, the resonant head, is the EMAD uh, Onyx, I think it is. And that's like a glossy black with a hole already cut in it. You know, with a little, with a little like reinforcement around it, for your mic, for your mic placement, boom, right on that fucker. And I, I was testing it out the other night. Oh man, it's fucking. It's and then there's I have a pillow in it also, but it's fucking badass. The kit that did I tell you that the kit that I ended up finding was a well that my wifey and my kid and my son found as they were driving around it was a kit by, made by a company called pdp pdp stands for pacific drums and percussion and pacific drums are made by dw drum workshop so they're made by a badass company it's like it's like their squire line you know kind of thing yeah or their epiphone line but they're bad, because I checked them, yeah, as soon as I got them back to the house, I'm like, ah, what are these, you know, are these any fucking good, or is this some plywood shit, or what is it, so I oh, took off the base heads, and they were maple, or birch, one or the other, and they were like, five ply, at least, so I'm like, if, as long as you got five to seven ply, that's a decent, that's a decent shell, that's a good shell, so I checked that out. I'm like, oh, okay, well, it'd be worth reskinning these. So not having had to pay for the shells, I invested that money in the skins and shit, and now it sounds tight. And I've got three different snares that I'm working with here that are all set up with different different top heads. They all have the they all have the same bottom head. Uh ambassador, hazy ambassador uh resonant snare side. But they all have three different top heads. They all have three different uh, snare bands because I bought I bought new snares for each row, each you know of them. All by this company called Pure Sound, and they're badass. Two of them are steel of different, slightly different variations, and then one is a brass. And it, it's, I'm excited because they are fucking tough. I bought, I bought an, an Evans, a clear Evans head hydraulic for one of them. I bought a, this one called an Aquarian, uh, it's an Aquarian head called a reflector. And it's like black mirror. But that's also a similar head <laughs> to the clear. And that is kind of like got that plastic, you know, it's, it's plastic. 
Whereas the third head that I got is a Power Stroke 77 snare head, which is a coated, like a white coated head. So